people. They don't care about the fact that military documents reveal that the smart meters were devised intentionally to cause harm. The ringing of the ears, the sweats, the heart palpitations, the inability for people to think clearly, to articulate, the possible brain damage that this causes. It is all designed intentionally to cause harm for people. And my grandchildren are living amongst death to the greatest degree that I could never have imagined in my lifetime. With these death dumps that fly overhead, that these evil doers cause the rest of the world to put up with. The whole world is being surrounded with the tentacles of the smart meters on all the homes. The overhead aerial sprays are occurring worldwide. People are getting sick everywhere. And people have to stop taking what these few hundred people are dishing out to us. We have to finally say, no, we're not going to allow you to make us sick. We refuse to die a slow death. We refuse to listen to the Ted Turners of the world openly at vineyards talking about cannibalism because there's going to be food shortages and water shortages. We refuse to be told that this is going to be our end. We are not going to sign up for the program that they seem to have felt that they are designing for us. They are not, not going to do this to us. political purpose. We're here for a political purpose. We're not here to see Bob Dylan. We're here to see Salvador Allende. Salvador Allende was overthrown and murdered in a military coup in Chile headed up by General Augusto Pinochet. Salvador Allende dared to unleash a torrent of reforms in Chile, including the nationalization of several of the American-run copper mines. Now he's slaughtered. Victor Jara, the most famous folk singer in Chile, who was loved by all the people in Chile, was tortured to death in the Santiago Stadium. Now, 10 years ago, we had a semi-military coup right here in the United States when JFK was killed by a right-wing paramilitary squad. Well, the same people who were in charge then are still in charge now. And I guess they're just gonna keep killing everybody. <laughs> 